Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, so we are talking Turner Syndrome. And this week, I kind of wanted to talk about something not super practical, more experiential, and that is sharing our stories. Who we share them with, how we share them, and three things that I think it's important to think about when sharing our story. So first of all, I, I feel like there's a lot of kind of stigma around the word syndrome at the end of Turner Syndrome that makes people less likely to share. They get nervous what people will think, they are shyer about it, and I feel like that's totally normal and understandable, but I think that's the exact reason why we need that that awareness. I feel like that's the exact reason why we need to be sharing our stories and why we should be educating people. So I spent most of my life never talking about Turner Syndrome, never telling many people about it, really just keeping it within my family and within me and my very close circle of people. And then I got into high school and I didn't broadcast it still. I didn't tell everybody. It wasn't common knowledge. You couldn't look at me and tell. But I told my best friend. And the, the reason I told her was because I wanted to be able to talk about the part of it that was really hard for me, which was the infertility. She, I knew, would not empathize in a sense of experiencing it also, but empathize in she knew me. She knew how much having kids meant to me. She knew that it, that would be really hard for me and she knew I needed to talk about it and she was okay with talking about it and she was very encouraging and she really knew how to just be there and understand and not try to fix it, not try to make me just instantly feel better and take it away, but also help me keep perspective when you're in that doom and gloom, like, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. It, that's important also. So it, it, there was a reason to me telling, and there was a really important reason. In, in a lot of ways, it, it did a lot of things for helping me process, helping her process, for our relationship and for her better understanding Turner Syndrome. So I, I feel like there's that stigma that really doesn't need to be there, first of all. And I think when we look at how we tell somebody, it's important to understand a little bit how they might take it, to understand a little bit of where they're at in that moment and how they might be able to handle it, and what details are going to be relevant and important to explain and what might not. There's a lot of details with Turner Syndrome. There's a lot of little things that can happen and I don't feel like telling that person everything all at once is really the greatest answer. I don't feel like that's a great way to approach it and I think there's a more constructive way and a way that's a little more understanding about how they might take it. So this goes beyond person-to-person -person relationship, right? This goes also to when you're talking to a group of people about it, when you're sharing your story in a group or with somebody that you don't know well, maybe in a more formal setting like with your doctor, if you're trying to explain the different things that have come up for you. And I think it's important to keep that in context of, okay, who am I talking to? What's the important information? and what is most helpful and what's most helpful for them for their ultimate understanding of it. So that's where I've come up with the three things that I feel like it's important to keep in mind when you're telling your story. Know your audience. Know who you're talking to. Know what their context of coming to the conversation is to the best of your ability. If it's a group of people, maybe you kind of know the demographic 
you know the general backstory to the group and that could help you put it more in context and kind of give the more applicable information that would be most important for them understanding it and kind of use that to apply it to them help help them bridge that gap that way this is how this can also be meaningful to them or this is why this is meaningful to them and not in a kind of selling it way but just to make it more real to make it more understandable and relatable because a lot of the times syndromes in that way feel very distant if you don't have one or aren't close to somebody that has one so it can kind of allow them to come a little closer to it and hopefully figure out a little more about it. The second thing is to be confident in your story. Even if it's a Turner Syndrome group you are talking to, like me right now, everybody has their own story. Everybody has their unique approach to things, their unique history of things, their unique struggles that come out of it. Everybody has their own experiences within it and their own story to tell. And for that reason, there's no reason at all to be insecure about your story, to feel bad in any way about your story, or to feel like your story isn't as important as others, or isn't as flashy or dramatic as others. It doesn't need to be to be your story. And I think that that's important to learn to embrace. It's your story. It's, it doesn't need to be movie magic. It's real life. And just for that simple fact, it's meaningful and it matters. And you can have confidence in it. And you can have the confidence to share it. And to be open about it. To feel confident within it. And to feel confident to own it as your story. So I feel like that will help your approach to it. That kind of helps you feel out telling somebody about it. And how you can feel good about that. The third thing is to know what information really matters. Not everybody needs to know your every medical history. Not that there is absolutely anything wrong with sharing that information that you feel totally comfortable sharing. That's fine. That's totally your choice. You have every right to want to share that or to want to discuss it. But I think Giving them all of that medical information at once is more the context I'm going for where you might be giving them information and that it, it's important that they have that information but maybe wean it a little bit. Don't have it be all at once hyper concentrated and flood them with information and overwhelm them with it. Take your time. A lot of Turner Syndrome girls have very long stories. They have long stories they could tell you about various different topics of Turner Syndrome and it can be a lot to process. So it's okay and it can kind of make the conversation more comfortable on both sides if you take that slowly. I'm not good at this. I've never been good at this. I will just jabber and share everything. I'm a totally open book and that can lead to oversharing very, very easily very easily. But there's a lot of nuance to all of these stories. There's a lot of details and there's a lot to try to understand. So going about that slowly, giving them pieces of it at a time and kind of letting them adjust to the part you tell them now before giving them a ton more, it could be really helpful for them being able to understand it better and not feel overwhelmed or not sure how to react. Because a lot of the times that can stop up a reaction and just stall somebody and they don't even know what to say. I know I have experienced that just in getting information on Turner Syndrome myself and I've been in this process basically my whole life trying to get more information and a better understanding. So it's really important and it can be really helpful to go slow about sharing it with others. Now, I know in a group setting, like if you were just sharing your story, that can be a little different. You want to give as much of a synopsis of it as you can, but I, I do think making sure you're not flooding them like a Google search would in the process. And that is my harshest 
harshest criticism of doing a Google search is you can't always trust the information. It doesn't give you the whole backstory and context to a lot of what it says for Turner Syndrome as far as what can happen. And it gives you so much information at one time, there is no way to possibly process all of it and not feel overwhelmed. And that is not helpful to anybody. So even when you're learning more about Turner Syndrome yourself, these are concepts that are really, really helpful to implement in some way, whether it's you bring in more information slowly to yourself so you can kind of process it bit at a time, or if it's understanding like right now, this is the bit of it I'm focused on, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on. I'm not going to go into all of this other detail, I'm just going to focus on this and learn more about this aspect of it. And that's good in any situation where you're gaining new information. So this kind of applies to the awareness I wanted to talk about. This is how we create awareness, by sharing our stories, by getting others to know more about it, and by introducing others that maybe we haven't told about it to that side of our lives. I know I spent most of my life not talking to people about it, and I can't explain the major difference that I have had since I started talking about it and it's really fulfilling so far. It's really an amazing opportunity to be able to have that connection. So I hope this was useful. I hope this was encouraging in some way and kind of gave you a little insight into what I've learned about sharing my story with others. I think this was a perfect one for Turner Syndrome Awareness Month. I know we didn't have a video last week because we were in LA, so it was LA Vlogs, but we are back to normal schedule again, and I'm really excited to get back to the Turner Syndrome Awareness Month videos. If you have any requests, we have one more video in the Turner Syndrome Awareness Month. So leave your topics that you would like to see for that last video in the comments below, and maybe we can do like two or three sections of topics if I get enough. Let me know what you guys would like to see is the topic, and leave them in the comments below. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. Make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!